Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to this edition of Programming Users. Hope you are fine. Uh, where I am, I'm fine. It's only that uh, here it's just about to rain. Uh, cats and dogs, the rain is coming, okay? But what we're going to do, uh, we're going to look at something uh, very important, something simple. Now, this is what we're going to do. Uh, you can see, uh, here I have a data grid view. It's filled with data from uh, my school database. But you can see, uh, just in this last co column, I have a data, I have a, in this column I have a combo box, I mean, okay? And this combo box is also filled with uh, data from the same, same uh, table, the same, same uh, square database. So you can see, in fact, there are these ones, okay? So like you can see, like, for example, this player and uh, Herrera, I can give him a teammate of uh, John Mata, or can give his a teammate of Wayne Rooney, something like that one, okay? So guys, this is what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to see how you can fill uh, this combo box column and the whole data grid view with data from my square database. So guys, uh, welcome, we we'll get started. So guys, uh, here is our form. As usual, uh, just come, uh, uh, file new project, uh, create a Windows application. Now uh, on your form, uh, just design it the way you want. It's only that mine have uh, changed probably the background color. But it's just a group box, a data grid view, and a form, okay? So click it, we go to the code. Because we're going to use MySQL, the first thing you have is that you, you must add the MySQL.data reference. Now right click it, click add reference, come search here, MySQL okay dot data then add it over there okay now once you've added it uh we shall now just come and do uh, some initializations uh, to our connection string so just come uh, on top right here please if you can't see my school uh dot data on top here please make sure uh you have my school connector go to my school website download my school connector install it in your machine in fact, we have a tutorial dedicated to uh, MySQL, how to configure MySQL to work with Visual Studio. Now, uh, this is our connection string. So say uh, con string. Sorry. So con string, uh, first of all, server equal to localhost. I'm running one server right now. My database is known as players db create your database then uh my user id is root okay root is normally the default in home server the password is always also the default that is how uh my data is now the next thing we shall create my sql connection object my sql connection okay i'll call it con equal to new my sql connection then inside it we shall just pass our constring okay now the next thing that uh, we shall want to do we shall uh, declare and, ini and initialize here uh, data table say data table dt equal to new data table okay now the after that one the next thing we are going to do uh, private void load uh, data now we shall create a method uh, that shall connect to the database and load for us our data so guys what shall happen uh, let me just comment here now this uh, method that we uh, this method load data it shall fill uh, the text uh, let me call it text box columns okay no the 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 ordinary columns this is uh, this is where they shall be filled then uh down here we shall also have another method that shall fill combo box column this is what we're going to do okay now the what we're going uh we just come here my school uh adapter equal to new my school uh that adapter after that one we also uh declare my SQL command i'll call it cmd then the next thing uh string sql now this is the select statement so i'll say select asterisk 
from table my table is known as players tb specify over there uh, your table now after that one the next thing i uh, just come and say we initialize our cmd say cmd equal to my sql command then inside there we pass our sql statement and then uh, we also pass the connection object then uh, the next thing after that one uh, we are saying adapter dot select command equal to cmd then after that one adapter dot fill we shall fill uh, our data set of course it is the data that, that we need to fill so we have to come here and create it so say a data set ds equal to new data set now that's our data set uh, so adapter dot fill we pass the ds then after filling our data set uh, the next thing that we're going to do remember we created our data table object so say uh, dt equal to ds dot tables then we pass at uh, the first table okay so uh, this one shall assign uh, that table to our data table object now in fact what i shall do i shall just have here a data table so this is what we shall return so return dt okay now uh in fact we can even uh, run so far so that we see so I'll just say a uh, data grid v1 we can bind it data grid v1 dot data source equal to load data okay now we can run it uh, we'll see so guys uh, as you can see here i just have the ordinary uh the ordinary columns or the things i, wa I wa was calling the text box or text field columns okay but right here we shall include our combo box column so uh, let's write the method for that one so uh, we shall come down here and shall say a uh, private void i'll call it uh, let me call it fill combo it shall not return anything then the first thing that we're going to do we're going to add the combo box column okay so say uh, data grid view or combo box column equal to new data grid view combo box column after that one we, we are going to set its header so say a uh, combo dot header text equal to i'll call it uh let me call it uh teammates okay yeah guys so just to make you aware please uh, take note that this is this is my table okay you can see it in home server you can see the columns it has okay the id name position and team and now what we shall be doing is that we shall also be taking this name okay you can see the names right here we shall be taking it and filling with it uh the com the last uh column that we shall call team okay now uh the next thing that we're going to do we're going to create uh we're going to assign the combo name so say uh combo dot name equal to combo then we create an array list now uh, what we're going to need to do we're going to uh add items from the uh, data row okay from the data row in the data table so I'll say add items to combo from data table remember we had filled our data table earlier on so here we shall just come and say a uh, for for each okay for each data row data row object i'll call it dr in dt okay remember dt is our t uh, table object dot rows now this one shall return for us a collection of all the rows so we shall be looping through them and what we'll be doing is that we shall just be adding a uh, row dot add okay then we add dr okay 
yeah data row dr then we pass the column but uh, remember i uh, want to add the name okay so say uh, dr dot r then in fact i can change it even to string so that is how we shall fill our row which is an array list then after that one and uh, now we shall come and add uh, add it to the combo okay this is add to array list now we shall add to combo and to do that one very simple just say combo dot items dot add in fact we shall add range then uh, this one expects an array so we convert our row to array and that's how we've added data to our combo box now the next thing is that that we are we add uh, the column we add the combo column now to do that one say data grid v1 dot columns dot add combo okay and now guys the only thing now remaining is that now we shall come uh, to our form load event now after filling the data uh, we come and call fill combo okay we come and call fill combo then we run and guys you can see uh, our combo box is here filled with data okay we have it right here now you can choose uh for example the players and now these are the ordinary uh columns and these are the this is the combo box column but guys probably you may be tempted to do something probably uh you may be tempted like to start uh this le le let's just uh try it like if you put this one uh right here you shall see that our combo shall be empty okay because remember uh the data table this one shall be called first this one shall be called first and then uh, before we add data from the database uh, it shall be empty okay so uh, of course the right approach is to uh, just use uh, we add our combo as the last one okay because remember it is in this load method this is where uh, the data table is filled and this one is taking data from that particular data table so guys i uh, hope you've enjoyed the tutorial hope you've learned something please if you have uh subscribed to this channel you'll continue receiving tutorial like this one leave a comment uh, down there i would like to hear from you guys like our video share them please you do any of those and we would really appreciate it so guys uh, take care see you next time